Hello and welcome to this week's Maths Lip Learning. Over the next two weeks, we will be learning about time. These are our learning objectives. Telling the time to an hour. Telling the time to half past the hour. Using the vocabulary next, before and after. Estimating the duration of time. Comparing different times. And using a calendar. This is a clock. A clock is made up of a clock face, numbers from 1 to 12 which are arranged clockwise, and a minute hand and an hour hand. When we are telling the time to an hour, we can look at our minute hand. Our minute hand will be pointing at 12. This means that it is zero minutes past the hour, or we usually say o'clock. On this clock here, we can see that it is zero minutes past eight. So it is eight o'clock. Now why don't you pause the video and have a go yourself? Here are the answers. When we are telling the time to so half past the hour, our minute hand will be halfway round the clock, pointing at six. The time on this clock is now half past nine. We know that it's half past nine because we can see that the hour hand is halfway between nine and ten. Why don't you have a go? Here are your answers. When we are talking about time, sometimes we might describe the time of the day by using next, before or after. This is a story about Ravi. Ravi wrote down all the things that he did yesterday. How do we know what he did first? And how do we know what he did last? We can look at the clocks to help us. Ravi played with his toys at five o'clock in the evening. And Ravi finally went to bed at half past eight. What other things did Ravi do during the day? What did he do before he went to sleep? Duration of time. We can measure a second by blinking our eyes or clapping our hands. One minute equals 60 seconds and 60 minutes equals one hour. Can you make a sensible guess about how long each of these times might take? Clapping your hands three times, singing a song or having our math lesson? We can also compare different times. So this is a story about Lulu and Sam. Lulu and Sam left their home at 8 o'clock in the morning. Who got to school earlier? Lulu arrived at school at half past 8. And Sam arrived at school at 9 o'clock. Lulu arrived at school earlier because half past 8 comes before 9 o'clock. This is a calendar. There are 12 months of the year. The first month of the year is January. And the last month of the year is December. Each month is made up of weeks. There are seven days in a week. And we start our school week on Sunday. On this calendar and some other calendars, you might find that the first day of the week is Monday. Thank you for watching this week's Maths Flip Learning. I hope you enjoy learning about time.